Hi Aries, here with a weekly reading for the sign of Aries. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or for anyone who's just curious about Aries. Let's go ahead and get started. Shuffle out the cards. Shuffling out the cards now for Aries. The Three of Swords flipping over. We'll keep the Three of Swords in for now. And we have the Two of Cups. Starting off with the Two of Cups. All right, let's just get these shuffled here. see the Eight of Wands. There is that Three of Swords. Oh, geez. All right. Let's lay these out and see what this picture looks like. Starting off with the Two of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles, the Fool Energy, the Nine of Swords. All right, Aries. Um, we do have Aries in a um, in the Fool position, so you're you're in this um, uh, place of. Uh, Push, I, I would almost have to say now, Aries, pushing something forward or moving forward in something um, where you realize like you haven't had a whole lot of experience in this. You may not have very many resources, Aries. Um, you may not have even done this before, but there's something here that you're really involved in or there's something here that you're really excited about. Um, it comes at a period of time when you've been weary, uh, weary of life or weary about a situation or just not sure what you're going to be doing um, to, to help lighten the load. There's just a feeling of tiredness, a feeling of doldrums, a feeling of boredom. Or for some of you, there could be a situation here that has been really long and difficult. I mean, you could, some of you could be in a situation that you've been in for a while and um, it could be really tough. You might, you may have a, you may have had a hard time uh, seeing how you were going to make it out of this one, right? In, into something new, into something better. But there's something here, Aries, that this group of you have found that you really are excited about. You're, you're encouraged to, to step into. Um, it helps you feel refreshed, Aries. It helps you feel light on your feet. Uh, it just, it, it's something I think, Aries, that you know that it's important for you and it brings you that feeling of, something new, something different, something refreshing, uh, um, a, a glass of, of fresh, cold, crisp water um, that, that just streams down a parched throat. Okay. And, and I know that's not even nice poetry. That's not even nice. It's not even, there's not even a nice tone that comes with that energy area. So there's something here. Oh yeah. Well, that's what it is. There's something here that's difficult. Like, you're rising above Aries this week. You're rising above something and you're rising above it uh, because you have this inalienable quality within you that helps you to rise above. That's partly who you are, Aries, is the, is the, is the people, are the people who can take a situation that's difficult and hard to see the answers for and you can kind of rise up out of that uh, old energy that, that, gritty energy and move into something new and bring betterment in that way, reaching out for it and connecting, connecting into something outside and reaching and like in many ways, pulling it back inside. So I see you like, anyway, um, Aries, 
there, there is something here you're connecting to with, with a partner because you're moving into the beginning of the week in the two of cups energy. So there definitely is something here with a partner, partner that means very much to a partner that has been there with you, uh, a partner that has um, linked up with you in, in many ways, whether it's in a love relationship, whether it's in a partnership, whether it's friends at work, like there is this team, team dynamic here. And you are in that place of teamwork uh, as you're moving into the week. And I do think that there's something new here that you would like to try or that you're stepping into. And I feel like this is something that you've probably tried before, or you might have thought about it before, you might have worked on it before. It could have been something that you put away for a while and now wondering if maybe it's the time to, to really look at it again, because we have the fool rising up over the top of the 10 of wands and the eight and the three of swords over the top of those two cards into the seven of pentacles, which to me means that um, there has been already some progress made in this, in this path. There has already been some progress made here at one point in time. This might have been something that you were excited about doing or that you maybe did together. But I just feel like it's just you, Aries, to kind of get it going. You're the instigator. Um, you're the mover and shaker. You're the encourager. You're the cheerer. You're the one with the sparkles um, in the beginning half of this week. Now, it doesn't have to be as deep as marriage or anything like that. This can be something that's happening at work or something that's happening at home or within the family um, that you're you're working at bringing in some sort of new experience, whether that's to overcome just a, a lack of energy or a lack of you know, just the doldrums or whether there's something here that is really needing some sort of solution, some sort of way out, way out of the box, finding a way out of the box basically is, is what's coming forward. And so whatever that is, Aries, it's, it is something that you have some sort of either it's education in or experience in, or it's something that you worked on before that you kind of put away for a while. It does have that quality. Let's bring this back out again. You know, I, I just feel like you could be digging around. You could be digging around here in your luggage, in your tools and resources there or something. And you could, oh, there is it. That's what I saw. Luggage. I did see that. Okay. Uh, there's some, there could be for some of you, some luggage that you have somewhere or some, something that you have stowed away and you like dig through the closet and you pull that sucker out and you open up that lid and you start digging through and you're like, okay, what do we have in here? What do, what's in here now? And it, and it comes with that little bit of excitement, right? It's like a little bit of a buzz that you get when, you, when you get into the space. And I feel areas that you're going to be in that kind of a, in that kind of a situation at the beginning of the week. And, um, as you move through um, to the end of the week, you're moving into this worried space. So, you, so you're moving now into more of a thinking space. This does revolve around this three of swords. So there's something here, areas that you're working to make better, some kind of hurt or some sort of situation that just isn't going very well, Aries. I'm not sure what it is. It could be um, a, a project that you've had that really hasn't been, maybe it's not important enough to the people around it. Right. I, I don't know what the what the what the situation is, but it's something that really has caused a lot of pain and heart pain for many of you. Pain and suffering, anxiety. There could be illness here. There could be instability here. There could be, you know, strong anxiety. But there has been a situation that has, you know, linked up it here with it. That's the second time that link word has come forward. Um there is a situation that is involved in this. Like there, there's a bigger story here. Definitely can see with that ten of with that ten of wands. I want to go into the three of swords. See if we can get a little bit more information about that three of swords. There's a queen of swords, but here's a six of wands. One more. Something here, Aries, we, we, had to, we do have the Queen of Swords and the Empress coming forward. Now, this is a strong maternal space that we have this group of you in. Whoever is connecting in with this broken heart, um, something here that kind of shattered, something that was once really beautiful and really precious, it, it kind of shattered. It, it just shattered. I don't know, Aries, if this is your dreams, your dreams for the future. 
Um, whether it's something that you were bringing forward into life, whether it was a child or a hobby or a, a product that you were creating or a project that you were working on, there is a strong creation kind of uh, space here. And we have the six of wands right here. You know, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like something that someone did or was dreaming of doing. It just, it's, it's having a hard time. We have the Queen of Swords. Now, that's a strong, protective, maternal space. The Queen of Swords is someone who's really intimidating. She's direct. She's commanding of her experience. She's gone through quite a bit, this Queen of Swords, to be where she's at. And Aries, there could be a Queen of Swords around you, or you could be embodying the Queen of Swords um, as you're connecting into this heart space, this sorrow, um, whatever this is with this Three of Swords, that's smack dab in the middle of this week. Um, I do feel like there's some sort of protectiveness that you're feeling or that you're connecting into um, regarding this forward movement. I just feel like there was forward movement or, or a desire to have forward movement and step forward, Aries, and do something that really, there was something here that really was a part of your heart, a part of your life, a part of your energy it was something that was a part of you. And I feels like connected in with the three of swords, like there has been some sort of depression upon that or suppression or dominance over that. Um, and it just feels like there was something maybe that you did, like you came forward and did out in the public eye, out in the public square, like something that people saw you do, or this could be something that you've been wanting to do that your heart has been crying to do is to do something like this in life. It's about being creative and being someone who creates, who creates in this world, who creates in this, in this space. And it just feels like words could be wrapped around this. Words could be wrapped around this. Like your voice, your thoughts, your way of being, your way of looking at the world, something that you could do, Aries, you know, for force for the world like that's what it feels like to me here with the six of wands like a, a grandness uh, an empowerment um something something that puts you into a new space in your experience or there's someone around you that has been going through that It just feels like something is waiting to be born here. Something is waiting to be created. And here you are, Aries, like in the preparation stage for that. And it feels like it could have some kind of a deadline because the Empress, uh, she does run on deadlines. I mean, just the very, um, the, the very, the biological system of, of birthing a child runs on a, a time clock with days and, and months of, of pregnancy, right? So there could be somewhat, a, it could feel like there could be like a timeline or a deadline here, Aries, and it could be just the timeline within yourself. There's something here that has like diminished within. Now, I think that you kind of move into this thinking space, Aries, as you move to the end of the week. Uh, you are thinking, and I think you are worried about this situation. Um, and there is some sort of a, a conversation around this, it feels like, Aries. There's some sort of a conversation around this. You, you yourself could be frustrated with the progress that you've made. You yourself could be frustrated with the conversations that you've had around this. You could, for many of you, could be waiting for some sort of a response from someone around you. Let's go into the Five of Swords. Why do we have the Five of Swords? Usually with the Five of Swords, there's another person. And there's been some sort of a conflict, a conflict of belief system, conflict of strategy, maybe just plain confusion and misunderstandings here. Let's go into the Five of Swords. Magician. Energy, how to do it, the world, how to do it, 
how to make it happen. The magician comes in over the five of swords. So something about how to do it, how to make it happen, um, a difference of, of way of life, a difference of thinking. Um, the magician can be crafty. The magician can be crafty because remember, the magician doesn't hold back on how to solve problems. Magician realizes, you know, the human being is quite interesting, that our eyes oftentimes are not actually seeing everything that's going on around us. Our eyes are, are really planted where our focus is, and our focus is what comes from the brain, and the brain works from history. The brain works from everything that has been put inside of it already. It doesn't have the information of the current and of the future. It has the information from the past. Um, so the magician has, has learned from his past here and is in, is in the process of doing something different here, doing it differently, doing it. Again, we have this out of the box phrase that has come, been coming out. Um, and with this magician energy that's here connected to the five of swords, it might be a way of doing it that could be a little bit, um, people might not see it. People might not see the full story or they might not be able to detect how you're doing this Aries or how you want to do this. There could be something sly or something very specific that you're doing that people may not understand. And that, that may be a ten intentional. And I'm not saying there's anything bad about it. I'm just saying that there's qualities here that might be mysterious or different than the norm. And this person or people that you're connecting in with Aries, they might not understand even the reason for that. They, they just might not understand even how much ability you have, Aries. Because <laughs> this is the magician here. Like there's something that you are just able to do very beautifully. And it feels like there is there is embodying here of a shadow element in a way that's powerful, which is how we really do step into our best selves is by incorporating all of ourselves. And I believe there is an element of that here. And I feel like it's kind of fun, Aries, to get into this space. Now, somebody else isn't really approving of this. And I think that maybe even, Aries, you're worried that they may not approve of it. It's like, have you even had the conversation? I'm not sure if you've even had the conversation. Um, because I think you might be more worried about it than not. But I do think that there are conversations here that do take place. And we have the world here too. Uh, I think that the, this is something that can open up new doors. This is something that can bring in new possibilities. And I, I really do think it's something that's really attractive, Aries. I think it's, it's something that you really are wanting to do. It's something that you really feel could be very important for this. So you feel passionate about it. You're strong about it this week, Aries. This is a strong week for you. Um, as you're moving out of the week, you're moving into the Ten of Pentacles, into the Eight of Wands. It feels like there's some sort of epiphany here, some sort of success coming in at the end of the week. It's interesting how this Ten of Pentacles just slides right in. It slides right in to this problem. Some sort of solution, some sort of maybe money, maybe resources are here. Maybe there's a family member that's here. Maybe there's a, some sort of support system that's here. But there's something here with this Ten of Pentacles, and I just see it in, like in my mind's eye, just sliding right in here. Now, Ten of Pentacles is connected to family. It's connected to wealth. It's connected to savings and retirement. Um, it's connecting to a large group of people rather than a small, tiny group of people. So whatever is happening here, Aries, at the end of the week, I think that there is something that's coming in here, connecting into this problem, connecting into the situation that's here. I believe it's connecting into this new experience that's that's here that you're working on. And there's some sort of answer coming in or major conversation that's taking place here or some sort of solution that's really coming in in, in, in a real fierce way, Aries. It could be happening when you're a little bit, I feel like a little bit sick to my stomach. 
Um, I feel a little bit sick to my stomach and then like this kind of pops in, it happens really fast or there's some sort of answer, um, that's coming in. And I, I feel like it creates a lot of movement. If it could create a lot of movement Aries. I'm going to go into the eight of wands and the 10 of pentacles. Three of Pentacles flipped over. Something that's able to be worked on together. Page of Swords coming out. Three of Pentacles. Something that's that's able to be worked on together. Page of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Some sort of new offer or new opportunity or new way of doing things, Aries, that, that's really here. And I think that's kind of what you've been talking about. There's, there's, there's some potential here. Now, I don't know if you're waiting for a, a conflict or there's actually is a conflict here. You could be worried that there will be a conflict. But Aries, I feel like, um, I really feel like how this is responded to is in a positive way. Well, the Ace of Pentacles is here. There is potential here. And I think it's pretty clear for you that there's potential here because you're connected in with the Seven of Pentacles. You're connected in with the Seven of Pentacles. So you already have a way with this or you've already, like there's already something here to offer. That's a beautiful thing about this. There's like, a, like you've connected into something that's already somewhat in existence. With the Page of Swords, it's like comes with this need to really study this now, to look at this in a deeper way. Truly look at this with our uh, inspector's gadgets, with our with our looking glasses and our, our inspector's gadgets to see if this opportunity is something that's really worth stepping into. It feels like you've brought someone else on board, Aries. You've got someone else on your side on this. Somebody else is there to, to help you. Now, it's still going to be a little bit uncomfortable because it's going to need to be examined. And it's going to be examined by by the inquisitive mind. So there's going to be some hard questions here, maybe, or some pointed questions, or there could be a little bit of suspicion here with the Page of Swords. But nobody looks away from the Ace of Pentacles. Nobody looks away from the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like there is an Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like it is connected to something that you're doing, Aries. It's connected to something that you've already worked on or that you already know of that's in existence. It's at the seven already. So it doesn't have far to go to make it to the 10. And here's the 10 here. So for, for many of you, this, you know, this could be a new job. It could be something huge. But for many of you, this is just something that you're working on over the week where you see another way of doing it. It might be something you've pulled out from the cupboard or something that you've done before. And um, you are going to need to kind of check in with someone else here on this. Um, and there might, and I think you know that there might be a little bit of squabbling or a little bit of pushback on this, but ultimately there is interest here. There is interest here because this is something that can bring improvement. And with Ace of Pentacles, it's something that's real. Like it's, you can't really look away from it. No matter who you are, no matter how you connect into the Five of Swords, like when the Ace of Pentacles lands, that it, you know, you take notice of Ace of Pentacles. And I think that the person is taking notice and now you're moving into like this more inquisitive space, uh, Aries. So that's, that's good. And I think that by the end of the week, you're going to feel, um, deep down, I think Aries, you're going to feel satisfied with the progress that you've made this week. I really do think that you will. Um, let's go into the full energy. I'm going to pull my sticker cards now, Aries. Now these are a little embarrassing for me because they're literally stickers that I placed on cards. But in my work, I do like to look at other images and see the variety that we can bring forward into these kind of readings. So if you're still here and you're interested, I'm going to pull sticker cards for the full energy. And then I'm going to move to the extended Aries. And in the extended, I am going to carry this energy forward through the end of February. We're also going to, going to look at a full spread for, for love. We're going to be doing a full spread for love with the tarot at the end of the rainbow cards. It's a new deck that I have. We're going to be pulling some cards for money. And we're also going to be looking at the um, animal cards, um, which I look at um, from the perspective of learning about the different animal minds and colors and behaviors and all 
these things that I've been studying over the past few years. So that's what's going to be happening in the extended. For right now, I'm going to pull some sticker cards now for the Fool card to see if we can see um, if there's anything here that kind of connects. Fool card for Aries. A Fool card here for Aries. Is there anything that comes out? It might be something smaller that doesn't really kind of doesn't really connect to the sticker cards, but it's it's not bad to try. It's not bad to try. Nope, nope. St stick to it. And then we have not can't even. Some sort of instant pushback. It feels. Like you have a person around you saying, nope, nope, nope. And you're saying, yep, I'm going to stick to this. It just feels something like that. Let's see what else comes out. Now this one slid slowly and reluctantly out. Love. <laughs> Love. 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 What can you do for love? What will I do for love? Cars flipped over. Automobiles, cars, transportation. Let's see if there's one more. Let's see if there's any more that will come out, Aries. I feel like there might be one more in here that will show itself. There we go. You did it. Killing it. Now, what's weird about these, Aries, what's weird about these cards that came out today now, I don't have all that many word cards. And these all have words on them, which is very interesting. They all have words in the same black sticker. Like what, what is the, you know, there, there is, it does feel kind of interesting that we have these, both of these cars with words on it. Um, and then we have, I almost like this pulling the reins back, step, step, stepping on the brake kind of energy here. Love. I mean, this could be something like you're doing with words. It could be planning. It could be writing a book. It could be, um, being creative with words. This could be Aries, the elements of life that are around you too, as you're stepping forward into this new idea that you've had. Interesting. Interesting. Well, okay. Uh, I am going to now move into the extended reading. We'll take this narrative and move it forward through the end of February. I'm also pulling a full spread on love with the tarot at the end of the rainbow deck. We're going to pull some cards for money and we're going to look at down deeper into the psyche, into the animals that come out uh, for Aries for the next month. And we'll look deeper into the psyche for that. All right, my friends, thank you for being here, Aries. It is always a pleasure to read for you. Wishing the best as you move through the week. For those of you that are interested in the extended, I will see you over on the other side. And for those of you that are uh, going back to the YouTube, thank you for being here. And I will see you next week with another weekly reading for Aries. All right. Thank you.